One of the most common questions a lot of people have is how to monitor your audio when recording with the NTSF1. Most recording devices will sum all channels to the main headphone output in a downmixed mono or stereo mix. This will give you a basic sense of the entire sound field from all directions. For most situations, this option is fine, but it won't give you a complete perspective of the soundscape and it won't give you any idea as to how the end result will sound. Some field recorders have an ambisonic monitoring mode. This will give you a stereo mixed output through a few steps of conversion. This gives you a better representation of the soundscape, but it's still very limited as it will only play back one perspective of the 360 sphere. For crucial projects, the best way to monitor is in real time using the Sound Field by Rode plugin. This will give you an exact representation of how your recording will sound with all the flexibility to hear your microphone from all directions. To do this, you'll need to bring the four separate channels from the recording device into a surround sound enabled DAW, like Reaper or Pro Tools HD. As it happens, the Mix Pre can also function as a USB interface when plugged into a MacBook or PC with a USB cable. I'll be using this feature to not only record the four channels of audio from the mic onto the recording device, but also to bring those four channels into my DAW for flexible monitoring options. Today, we'll use a combination of the Mix Pre 10 and Reaper running on a MacBook Pro, and we'll be sitting in a separate room from the musicians to make sure that we only hear what is being recorded in our headphones. In order to monitor with the Soundfield by Rode plugin, we'll need to change some settings in our DAW. So let's jump into the menus and do this now. Select Reaper in the top menu bar, Preferences and Device under the Audio sub-menu. If the Mix Pre is connected properly, then it will appear here so you can select it. Then create a new track, click on the routing section and change the track channels to four. This ensures you have the right number of channels on your track. Then click on New Audio Hardware Output and select Out1 slash Out2. This means that your new track will output to the Mix Pre. Then click on the input section and switch this to input four channel and in one, in four, four channel. This means that the inputs for your track will be received from the first four channels of the Mix Pre. Now we just need to switch record monitoring on to enable real-time monitoring and arm our track. Last but not least, we'll open up a copy of Soundfill by Rode on our new track and set it up with the correct settings. Now that we have the Mix Pre set up as a USB interface, we can monitor the recording in real time with the Soundfield by Rode plugin and adjust it in any direction and angle that we want. Of course, none of the settings I use during monitoring are fixed into the recording. The four channels from the microphone are recorded untouched no matter how much I change the settings. Recording like this also means that we don't have to take our audio off the recording device and import it into our computer because we've already recorded it straight into Reaper.